A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Where's UK Mod. So we are busy with the tier 6 infested here at the, uh, the hospital. We actually have another one here but I'm going to uh, cancel that. We only want to do one of each basically. But yeah, um, so far it's been insane. We did the tier 6 infested corrections facility last time and we started with the hospital over here. And so far, damn. Uh, you can actually see the stutter and stuff. I don't know if it's too... Uh, hopefully it's not too much stutter or lag for you guys. But yeah, there is a lot of lag right now because of the amount of enemies and stuff we have to kill. Now it's night time, we have to be even more careful. Yeah, we're just going to keep on going from where we left off. This is the second last episode of the series, unfortunately. Um, next episode will be the series finale. Are there any enemies inside of here? Yeah, it will be the series finale and I hope you guys will enjoy that. And then on the 30th, um, it's going to be a... Supercut of Wild West and Where's UK. So technically there's still three episodes left, but the third one is... Well, including this one. But the third one is unfortunately um, the... Supercut. Well, I don't know if it's unfortunate. I don't know how many of you guys are probably going to uh, go and just watch the whole thing from scratch. Keep yourselves busy. Ooh, that's a lot of dogs. These pure eye changes look cool. But I still sometimes miss the old pure eyes. Are you telling me it just went all the way around? Please no. I don't know where the dog went. It's downstairs? It looks like it went inside here somewhere. I'm gonna have to come back and kill it, otherwise the quest won't be able to get finished. Don't make noise like that. This was a dog from downstairs. Did it manage to actually make it up here that easy? Oh. Damn, that is some hard hitting action right there. The fact that it can do that much damage is insane. Almost looked like there was a dog inside that dog kennel just now. I want them to do slight damage over here so we can actually kill him. Wait, is the dog- wait, is this the dog from outside? Come on, give me your head, I'm gonna kill you. And so that's the demo signing, dude. It's good to know it's not a demo. Because these giant demos can do some serious damage if you're not careful. Okay, so we're not supposed to go here. Not there. Wait, where are we supposed to go? The light shines over here like we're supposed to go here. Oh, we jump out of here now. Please don't miss, please don't miss. Hug the wall. It's really creepy hearing these dudes make noise. I thought they were completely like the, the all the noise was completely removed. But that is not the case. They can still be Arthur, super, super creepy. Alone. Why are you guys not waking up? I wonder. Oh, the armors I'm wearing, the noise reduction and stuff, really that powerful that it's not making any noise. I mean, if it is, awesome, but damn, that's OP. That's broken. That is locked. I'm trying to make sure that I don't call too much attention to myself. Careful of vultures. Although, <laughs> technically I don't have to. As long as they don't kill me, I don't have to be careful of them. Because I already have the infection. This is supposed to be a tier 6 infested, so I'm guessing... Just like the prison, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. I've never seen this POI before in my life. I mean, like this version, the, the Navis Gains um, Hospital, whatever this is called. I've never seen this new version. It's probably been tweaked for Alpha 21. That's why I don't know it. Okay, I should probably eat and drink as well. This infection is going to be the uh, death of me. I need to make sure that we heal ourselves before we talk to the trader for those double rewards. 
Should probably see if I can still get with these infections. It sometimes depends on the infection you have. Come on, man. What the hell? I was literally shooting in the head just now. It looked like he was getting up. His leg moved. It was probably her head touching his head or something. Or her head touching his leg. There you go. It's locked. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I want to see people clear a POI like this, like, super early game. Even though it's, like, super early game, you'll, uh, and it's also game stage based. If you clear this place day one, there's still going to be, like, a ton of cops and dogs and ferals and stuff. So you have to be super careful. The overall pathing of this place is still very similar to what it used to be. But, yeah, like I said, I've never looted this 21 version, A21 version. Come on. I don't even have to open that door. Technically. Because they're going to go through this. Anyway, yeah, look at that. Force them to go through this hole. Where are you going, lady? Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Wait, where did that loot bag just go? Oh, it fell through the, uh, the wall of here. That sucks. It was half stuck in the wall, so I thought it might hold, and then it just fell through all the way. I need to, every after every single zombie that I kill, I need to make sure that I reload. It's so easy to forget to reload, and then you have that click of death. The fact that it's so empty really bothers me. If the roof is anything like I imagine it to be, it's going to create so much lag. Already, these big pure eyes in the middle of nowhere over here create quite a bit of lag. Kind of cool to see some of how their heads explode and stuff, how they get decapped. Okay, so now we're supposed to go. Where? Came through there. I'm lost right now. Where? Okay, so that was just a side. I thought that might be the correct part. I was like, huh? But it stops. Make sure you clear these bathrooms because if you just leave one of them, I've got a bad it might have been the one this. that you had to clear. The fact that you said that just now, we don't see the zombies yet. I know that all of them are going to be in this room. There's usually quite a few dogs and stuff. Yep, all of them came from the top. Ooh, look at the red dots. Getting more and more. Oh, my drone's on that side. Poor thing. And there's definitely a dog in there as well. What we could do is just do that and actually see them in a straight line now. Oh, crap. Ooh, okay, that could have been bad. That was the wrong kind of click of death. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, if a, if a gun isn't loaded, that's not that bad compared to your gun breaking mid-horde. Mid-killing. Wait, where am I supposed Am I supposed to jump in there? That's a very close jump. You have to jump at an angle, otherwise you can't make it. I need to make sure we have more repair kits. For the I'll Horde Knights, if you run out of repair kits mid-Horde... Oh, that's a lot of dots, but they're not moving. Guys, wake up. I'm right here. 
I mean, I'm not complaining. If they don't want to wake up, they don't want to wake up. I'm not going to force them. Okay, so it seems you have to go up, but what's this door then? Oh, okay, just a small room. So this is also a nighttime start quest uh, sometimes. We jump up over here, jump up over there. There's going to be a section with a ton of birds, so I want to be careful of that. Are they inside of these things? There you go. I'd rather let you guys break out than me waste ammo trying to break you out. It seems you have to go inside of here. Man, this is completely different from what I'm used to. I still more or less remember the, the very first time we had to clear this. Or like the other alphas versions of this. And yeah, the, the pathing, overall pathing is the same. But there's so much, the layout has been changed a bit. Or rather, the overall layout's the same, but the pathing's been changed completely. I think if these guys actually woke up while I was clearing the space, this would be so much more nerve-wracking. Oh, I thought there was only one. Oh, I didn't kill it. I thought I killed the dog. Oh, hello. Shocker Messiah Crate. I actually kind of love these new designs. Is it something new? If you've been playing the game for as long as I have, you've seen all the designs, all the POIs, it just, it gets boring. Uh, someone's phoning me just one second. Okay. Getting a phone call mid-recording always sucks. Uh, hello? All of a sudden, this feels smoother. Why? It's like the calm before the storm. All of a sudden, yeah, like I said, there's almost no lag all of a sudden. I've been sc uh, getting scat uh, scatter, stutter for the last two episodes, for this episode and the last one, and now all of a sudden just smooth. Okay, so there's the one cache. Uh, that means the final stash is going to be inside over there. We are not alone. Oh, you walked at the perfect time just now. <laughs> if you didn't stand in front of the door, I wouldn't have hit the other two as well. But yeah, now we're going to go down to the vultures. This section has a ton of vultures. Hello, vultures. Ooh, the ladies love me. Wait, where's all the vultures? Ooh, just look at the roof. It does not look inviting. XP Alexa, thank you. I wonder if I shouldn't have gone the other way. But it does show the light's supposed to go Yeah, I want to still get that other stash. The other cash. We just turn the lights off so we can get a little bit closer. We should have technically brought some explosives and stuff as well. Since we know we're doing tier, uh, tier fixes, we know we're going to get a ton of tough ones, so we should be able to clear them fast. Jump, damn it, jump. Okay, uh, yeah, all of them woke up and came to me. Damn, I wanted a nice screenshot. I wanted to pick the drone up. As I was uh, thinking I should pick the drone up, all of a sudden, I just got hit from all sides. Did she just give me another infection? Where are these guys coming from? Oh, they're going around. That's actually quite clever. They're jumping down the wrong side so they can go around. Surprise me. 
Still says clear areas. Is that upstairs or downstairs? Okay, so some of them did not wake up. Okay, someone woke up. See, I used to come, uh, come onto the roof and then jump over here on top. So that they couldn't get me too easily. Nope! Whoa, almost fell outside. Oh, that would've been bad. That would've sucked. Okay, this final stash is bigger. Well, it feels like it. Uh, the, the room itself is way bigger than it used to be. Uh, and there used to be a ladder going up to the roof over here, so, uh, so you could actually go down without falling through this hole. But I think it's because this room is so much bigger that it just feels like more of a quest. Okay, let's really open up these, uh, this one and that final stash, and then go find that zombie. Okay, so 600 cash, not that great, but at least it's something. Now, where or oh, where did that zombie go? I don't know if it went down or up. That's a big problem right now. Let's just go up again the way we can. Uh, wait, which way was up? I think he might be over here in one of these rooms. Oh, that's a scrap polymers I, I need. I almost forgot about that. Something. I needed to kill quite a few scrap, uh, uh, or destroy a few scrap polymers. Is he underneath me? Can't tell where he is. Oh, over here. There you go. But yeah, we need a, scrap, a few scrap polymers, so I need to make sure I grab like, at least 240. Well, I mean, if we get cash, we can just buy them from the machines. That's awesome. Because I can make 150 exploding arrows for the last ward. Okay, so now to get down from here, I want to see if it's going to be possible to jump from the roof. If you hug the wall, it should be possible. Unless it's like a full straight down. Yeah, that's just a down. That's not going to be fun. <laughs> um, if you do like the other uh, big POIs, uh, sometimes you can actually just jump down it like that. So much easier. See, technically you can clear this whole place just by going uh, up the way I'm going down. But you have to jump over obstacles and stuff as well. And some POIs even have um, explosives and stuff on the stairs to keep you from being able to do this. So you think you're still safe and all of a sudden there's a, a thin mine or something underneath you. Am I a floor too low? Walk, walk. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm outside. So my bike is this side, which doesn't really go for that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot they actually came through here. Okay, so let's quickly go to the next tier 6 POI then. Okay, so I am outside the cracker book over here. We, we, we could do that this one, but it's going to take too long. And also it's very laggy inside or cracker book. Unfortunately, this is the A21 cracker book, not the A19 one. But still, the amount of enemies inside is going to be fun. The big dude just made I've it inside. That's why we're hearing this belching, squelching kind of sound. That's the first time I've fallen down. I almost never fall down that section over there. Basically, you jump this, you hug this. Oh, it's because of this thing on the side. If you accidentally go a little bit to the right, it hugs it too much. Okay, now. Uh, XP Elixir. Let's just make sure we are filled up on food and drink. We want to be able to move over here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. But they're way slower than I thought they're gonna be. I thought they were all gonna be like feral. Is my game stage really that low that they're not running at all? It's morning, I know it's daytime, but they're all slow. None of them are feral. Huh. Usually I jump into a place like this and they all just charges me. Oh, there are a few ferals over here, but they're asleep. 
Usually all of them charge at the same time and it makes it so hard to survive. Drone out of my bloody way. Imagine if the drone was just like the... Or, or if ranged worked just like melee. What I mean by that is if you... If the drone gets in front of you while you're doing melee, it does zero damage to the zombie. Because you, you can't hit the drone, so the game thinks you're trying to hit the drone. Imagine that was the same with a gun. I think no one would be using the drones ever. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna make sure they don't have any, like, um, bookcases and stuff up here. Okay, now the upstairs. Yeah, we came through this, now the upstairs. You can actually see some of the dots already awake upstairs. Wait, where? They're usually over here in the kitchen. Wait, where did you come from, Mama? Oh, wait, you, you, you fell from upstairs, didn't you? Yep, fell through the window. Okay, well, the more come from upstairs right now, the better for us later. Because upstairs there's a ton of vultures and stuff that we have to deal with as well. Hey, he's still alive, so you have to be careful of that. Oh wow, usually there's businessmen inside of here, that's weird. As long as I keep an eye on those stairs, we should be fine. Okay, as long as they don't have weapons, please. Imagine if the uh, if all of the zombies inside a tier 6 were the plus zombies. All of the zombies that can actually wield weapons. You wouldn't have enough ammo to clear all the zombies out. Damn. You crouch like this, come on. Please have something in here. This room used to be like worth it. Like if you, if you go in there, there's like bookcases and stuff. Now it's just perhaps if you're lucky, one stack of books and that's it. Okay, make sure we are reloaded. Make sure my gun is repaired. Where the hell did you come from? I don't know why I jumped like that just now. Okay, that was just very scary cat of me. <laughs> the jump scares that 7 Star provides are like top notch. Sometimes you just don't expect the zombie to be there and your heart just drops. Okay, now the tough part. I want to get upstairs first because I want to deal with only the vultures. You can see all the zombies sleeping over there. Damn, the shotgun has range. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down there because I am not seeing anyone else. So far, the slow uh, reaction time of the zombies has been saving me like crazy. Usually clearing this place would almost be a death sentence. Now, who's there? Easy peasy. I should probably in between when they just have this much HP left melee them. Save so much ammo. Thought there might be another dog or vulture back there. I 
I really miss the Alpha 19 bookstore. On my Darkest Falls and uh, servers and all these other servers that I have um, and games that I have, it's so awesome when you come across those old POIs, that old Alpha 19 POIs. Oops. Okay, now I go down. Just imagine if you just got plus enemies, all of them weapons, all of the massive demos and stuff, how much harder this would be. My have picked up something. Yeah, the, all of these are supposed to wake up as soon as you get close. The fact that they're not saving us is crazy. So it basically makes the pure eyes way easier than they're supposed to be. If this was vanilla or any other mod, the moment you do uh, make a noise, all of them wake up. I wonder if that's just how powerful the silence is. It might be the effect of the silencer, the military gear, and the advanced noise reduction that I have on. I can't remember if I've ever actually had all of them on at the same time. Okay, now we have to jump down. There's no other way. Uh, let's try getting back here first. books of it, I didn't even realize they were there. That could get dangerous really fast. Get away from my books. I've got a bad so where are you coming? Oh, to the kitchen. But us, where are they coming from? Always look on the side of these new Alpha 20... Yeah, these are Alpha 20 books. Even though this is Alpha 21, these were introduced in Alpha 20. Always make sure you look at the side of them because there's books over there as well. Okay. We actually have four points. I want to put that into Demolition Expert before I forget. And then since we have that now, we can go for... Demo over here. That's going to do even more damage. Now our rocket launches and grenades and stuff will do severe damage. The only problem is obviously if it can do damage to them more, it can do damage to us more. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. If it's anything like the others. You literally only have to have a, your mouse at a certain height and just shoot. Nice. And the more standing behind each other, the better. Crap. I should probably keep an eye on my armor as well. It's been a while since I repaired it. Okay, just the bikers at the back left. Hello, doggy. Head height, head height. Especially if you're running low in ammo, it's so nice being able to just shoot through the, all the heads at the same time. Oh, crap, hello. That means there might be more dudes over here as well. Can I close this? Thank you. Is just that one biker left or is there more? I think there's still, uh, I was about to say, I think there's still some businessmen left, but nope. Okay. 
So now it's just the final stash. And we have to get back to the base. And I need to still go and upgrade all those blocks. What the hell was that just now? Wait, what? Is a radiated spider queen or something above us? Prepare for conflict. Yep. A spider queen or spi a, a spider zombie is above us. Uh, a, a radiated spider is above us. An actual spider spider. Not a spider zombie. So because uh, our heads were very... Are you inside? It sounds like it's right there next to us. Huh. But yeah, if you're standing upright, your head's too close to the top. Is it upstairs or downstairs? I don't know. I have to be careful because especially the small ones, they are super hard to hit. Okay, I am so confused right now. I definitely want to go see which one is it. A small one, big one? Oh, it's broken. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's going to be 30,000. 8,000. That's unfortunate right now. Since that button is broken because this is also a generator quest. Uh, you can't press the button to exit. See, it's a big spider. It, I, I think it's just a radiator. That's not the queen. It's not big enough to be the queen. But just as small as that thing is, look how much it radiates you. That's insane. Okay, now we just have to go back to the trader and hand this in and see how much cash we're going to get for this. Whew. I'm actually getting the chills right now. Just because the spiders... I, I, I really don't like the spider sound, that squeaking, squealing sound. But every time I hear it, I just get chills, like goosebumps. Okay, a little bit of a side note for you guys. Uh, look at the, my, the HP on this vehicle. It just uh, it takes me just accidentally driving into something like a boulder for it to explode. The, the force at which you hit the boulders is just way higher than if you hit like a, a piece of stone or something. Or like a, a skull or something on the floor. Here okay, go, so friend. I'm going to take the steel. Just say the oh, word. rocket launcher. Yes. Now I don't have to buy one. Remember, we, we saved cash. We wanted to buy one and then I used the cash accidentally. Oh, that's awesome. Rocket launcher. Thank you. And then I'm going to sell the stuff we're not using right now. Okay, these we have to scrap. Uh, sell, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. We're gonna read that one just in case because that's explosives. You come back sometime. Okay, which is the other one? This one. Goes now, we're cooking with Steel, we'll be able to sell that. For the last horde, I want to make sure we make that Vul uh, Vulcan. But I don't know if I should make the 762 Vulcan or the 50 cal Vulcan. I'll, I'll make both, but I'm gonna have to save a ton of resources. So technically, when I see Forge Lion, I need to buy it. Because we go over here, Vulcan. This one requires iron. It's, it's, at least it's just iron. There's no steel involved. That's awesome. As long as it's just iron, that's cool. But if we can make the 762 one, and we can make the 50 cal one. But for the 50 cal one, we need like 2,000 forged iron. So yeah. I think, guys, the last episode we're going to be doing uh, is going to be facing... Wait, did we have a quest on us that we still have to hand in? Oh, I'm actually going to go hand in this first. But yeah, um, last episode's going to be like day 700 again. Uh, we'll have all of the guns hopefully ready by then as well. Ooh. See, if all of the tier 6 infestors had this dude, imagine. It'll be so much harder because you have to shoot them so much more. But yeah, I'm going to be facing the day 700 uh, for our next episode as the series finale. And I will also be using like the Vulcan and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is just making that slight hole in the wall that I referred to earlier. As you guys know, we were busy with the horde. Oh, uh, yep, 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 yep. I'm on fire. Now, was that a, a demo or was that just the soldier dude? I think, yeah, just a soldier. I'm still going to kill him though. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of base work, still reinforce it, all that stuff. Uh, we would have done that anyways. Which trader... Is it this one? Nope. 
One of these we have to hand it in, but it doesn't show exactly who. Another stranger in need. Don't Is it that dude? Dog bite you in the ass on your it's definitely over here that we had to hand it in, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Joel's only tier six. Fair here. See, technically, uh, we could have. Oh, that's better than M60 we have. But if we use the Vulcan, we don't need the M60. I'll keep the M60 just in case. Let's see. We can sell that. I'll keep the rocket launcher. Thank you. Should probably have repaired it first. Make sure this. we get the best out of this. Okay, we have 39,000 to spend. If we had some awesome swords, I'd be buying more steel and stuff as well. Here. Come again. Oh, hello. He's like, nope, don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go and uh, uh, intrude, interrupt him. Okay, so now that we have a normal rock launch, we can do that. I'm basically going to make sure. Ooh. Grandpa's forgetting Lex. I'm going to buy this to respect all my skills for now. the last horde. So I'm going to put nothing into like crafting and stuff. And everything into fighting. I'm going to make sure all my weapons have mods. I'm going to make the Vulcan, all that stuff. And then we're going to be facing the final horde. So, if you guys liked this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for the series finale of Players UK Mod. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminase that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.